If everyone voted. Cast up the ballot, Madam Clerk. By a vote of 80 yeas, three nays, and eight present, the resolution is passed. Madam Clerk, please read House Resolution 1020. House Resolution 1020 by Representative Jeremiah Moore to authorize the introduction of a non-appropriation bill to amend the Arkansas Data Center's Acts of 2023 to regulate digital asset mining businesses and businesses utilizing a blockchain network and to declare an emergency. Representative Moore, you recognize. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, my fellow colleagues. This is a really important issue, not just to me, my district, but to the entire state as a whole. For me, this journey started back in September um, <clears throat> of last year, shortly after I got engaged to my incredible fiance. And two and a half weeks after the community of DeWitt learned that there would be a crypto mine put right outside of their I spent no less than 60 hours on the phone. Every person that called me, I it, or I called them back as quick as I could. The DeWitt community is a small place. It's the kind of place that you'd be proud to grow up, the kind of place where they pray Friday night before football games and a place where patriotism runs deep. These crypto mines were very not well understood, both back during when we passed 851 and even to this day. I've done a lot of research and I've come to a pretty good understanding of the nature of this industry and where we need to pr proceed as a legislative body. First of all, all the issues that you've heard of, whether it's noise, the foreign ownership, the power, electrical use, the water use, these are all very complex issues. My concern is that if there is a bad actor, in which there are many, how is a small county or municipality going to stand up to a billion dollar corporation? Are they gonna use the courts? Are they going to hire their city attorney when these bad actors can hire the most powerful law firms in our state and beyond? They can go through the courts, yes, but ultimately they need state oversight. They need state oversight through the Department of Energy and Environment that will have the ability to create rules that will then be approved by us, the legislative body, through ALC. What we're asking here is, is, is not that great. It's nothing that any other industries don't have with other state agencies overseeing them. And you may ask, why can't we wait until a, a special session, or why can't we wait until the 2025 session? Well, we have a constitutional right, and while we have never done this to my knowledge, past non-budgetary items during a fiscal session, our ability to do this exists for a reason, and that reason is here. These crypto mines, the bad actors in particular, have come in our state, many of them owned by the by interest associated with the Chinese Communist Party like the one in DeWitt. Not only have they pulled a gun and assault rifle on one of your colleagues, Representative Matt Brown, they've subpoenaed me, asking for my personal records and documents. These bad actors must be stopped and it must be made sure that no more of them come in and grotesquely take advantage of our state's business-friendly laws and our state's business-friendly environment. For that, I'm open for questions. Representative Eves, for what purpose? Question. You recognize. I apologize for not getting with you on this earlier, but a, a few minutes ago, Representative Ray asked us to vote no on one of these resolutions because it had language in here that said businesses using a blockchain network I notice your bill also says businesses utilizing a blockchain network. Can you kind of just tell me a little bit about what that means as far as you know at this point? Thank you, Representative Eves. Yes, I've met with my Senate co-sponsor and with several other experts, and we are striking that language um, from, the, it's from the bill in its entirety. Representative Rose, for what purpose? Question. You recognize. Uh, do you know if you guys plan to be striking the language uh, concerning fees as well? Uh, from this resolution or your future bill? So we will, are planning to amend this language to create a process. We're, what we're not talking about is a fee. We're essentially creating a process for these businesses to get, become um, issued a license. So similar to um, any number of industries in the state, whether it's, you know, 
you gotta have a license to um, have a car lot such as yourself uh, has experience in or any type of business. But we're mainly focused on the process and not so much the fees. That's That'll be approved by ALC later should there ever, any fees ever really exist. Follow up. Oh, and I appreciate that. Yeah, I pay that car dealer license fee every year, and I'm not crazy about it. But uh, I think the language in the resolution said fee not to exceed 5000 Sure. Do you plan for that language to continue? Uh, I'll have a discussion with you afterwards along with Senator Irvin. Um, we are open to friendly amendments once we get this to committee, and I would love the opportunity to sit down and discuss that with you. Thank you. Representative Unger, for what purpose? Question. You recognize uh, Representative, thank you for bringing this. I agree with you. Is there any way that the language could be changed instead of relying on ADEQ as an enforcement arm, maybe going directly to the Attorney General? I am open to discussing that with you, Representative Unger. Thank you for your question. Um, I would have to talk with my Senate counterpart, but we are open to several suggestions as long as we can fit it under the confines of the resolution language according to the Constitution. Representative Moore has explained the resolution. Would anyone like to speak against the resolution? Would anyone like to speak for the resolution? Representative Moore is closed for the re resolution. The question before the House is the passage of House Resolution 1020. Prepare the machine, Madam Clerk. Everyone voted. Everyone voted. Cast up the ballot, Madam Clerk, by a vote of 84 yeas, 4 nays, and 6 present. The resolution is passed. Morning hour is ended. Madam Clerk, please read Senate Bill 1. Senate Bill 1 by Representative Wing, an act for the Arkansas Senate appropriation for the 2024-2025 fiscal year. Representative Wing, you're recognized to explain the bill. 